the girl pinched herself as hard as she could and didn't stop until she couldn't breathe anymore. Her name was Alice. She likes to wear a mask to play with herself. This mask was left behind by her mother. But when grandma saw her using her mom's stuff, she'd get mad and kick her out. Alice had nowhere to go. She had to spend the night outside her grandma's house. Luckily, grandma wasn't really cold blooded. She brought Alice home in the middle of the night. Alice wondered what her mom was like whenever she mentioned her mom. Why does grandma get so angry whenever she mentions her mom? Grandma didn't tell her the truth, but soon Alice found out about her mother from other people. Alice's mom's name was Linda. She was a murderer, and she's one of those people that no one knows about. She was convicted of intentional homicide and mutilation. She was sentenced to life in prison. When Alice was a little older, she used to hear her mom's name from people. They called her names and stayed away from her. Only Judy was different. She approached Alice and showed her kindness to her. Although Alice didn't accept Judy as her friend, but when she saw Judy being bullied, she would still try to save her. Alice scared those people away and conquered Judy's heart completely. After that day, Judy and Alice became friends. They went to school together and went out together. Judy sensed that Alice's life was not ordinary, so she deliberately said that she also lived in an unfortunate family. She said her mom was a stepmother. She also said her father always beat her up. Alice believed her, so she told her that her mom was a murderer. But Alice didn't know Judy's story was a lie. <laughs> Judy's mom is a real mom, and her father doesn't abuse her. She lives in a very happy family. She lied to Alice because she wanted to have something in common with her. She knew Alice was unhappy. She wants to run away from home with Alice, but they had no money. Judy could only steal things from home and sell them. But this is still too little money. To earn more money, Judy went to cheat the younger students. Judy sold them fake cards. But the bullies saw her doing it. They beat Judy up. Judy was so angry that she blurted out Alice's story to scare them. The next day, Alice's story spread all over the school. Only Judy knows Alice's secret. So Alice immediately guessed that Judy had betrayed her. Alice did not go to school again. She secretly followed Judy. She found out that her family was very happy. Alice was furious. She called Judy and asked her out. This person is Alice's mom's enemy. She was thrown into the river by Alice's mom, Linda. When she woke up, she shot out the car window and escaped. In order to take revenge on Linda, Lucy first went to plastic surgery, then she searched for Linda's whereabouts. But to her surprise, Linda was caught. She didn't get to kill Linda herself, and that made her very angry. But then she found Linda's daughter, Alice. So she changed the target of her revenge from Linda to Alice. She pretended to be a kind old man in front of Alice. But as soon as Alice leaves, she calls the paper to reveal Alice's mother's secret. So no matter where Alice goes, her identity will be known. Judy didn't betray Alice. She just scared the bullies and ran away. But Lucy, who was in the shadows, saw the scene and immediately went up to chat with the bully. And she spewed Alice's secrets. That's how the school knew that Alice's mom was a murderer. Linda killed Lucy's son, Chris. Lucy tried to kill Linda's daughter, Alice. Alice had a bad relationship with her grandmother and broke up with Judy. She had nowhere else to go but to Lucy. And this was Lucy's best chance to do it. Lucy wants Linda to feel the pain of losing her daughter. But she didn't realize that Alice was her granddaughter. Back then, Lucy's son, Chris, violated Linda, and that's why Linda killed Chris. Later, Linda was pregnant with Chris' child and quietly gave birth to the child. And this child is now Alice. 